Okay, so what you just saw was a quick, very lightly colored acrylic pour, and I know some of you out there are going, God, not another one of those stupid acrylic pour videos. Um, I promise this is going somewhere rather than just doing an acrylic pour. The process does fascinate me, but I always want it. I always tried learning it with an intention in mind. And so this is just a background. This is an old canvas that had another painting on it that had good mojo but and positive imagery, but it was just time it was something else. I did this with light colors. It is not smooth. It's bumpy. Can you see that texture? That's on purpose, people. But look at the cells that I got. It's late in the afternoon or evening, early evening. So the lighting is kind of funky in my art room. And we're on the floor, as you saw. But although the cells are lightly colored, which is intentional, there are some interesting things going on. So this is part one. A light background and acrylic, acrylic pour. Most of the color, as you see, is across the um, kind of diagonal center of the canvas with most of the top and most of the bottom white. Uh, and what color is there is very light colored because like I, get, I said again, this is the first step. So if you're following along with me, pull out a journal page, pull out a canvas, get some light colors together. I was planning on using all neutral earthy tones and that turquoise just was screaming out at me and I just couldn't resist so it's in there. Don't worry about it being perfect or, f or lumpy, uh, especially if you're doing it on a canvas. You can see this is. I could take my um, palette knife and spread that out, but I'm not going to. We're going to leave it because it's just the first layer. Let's have some fun with this. Let's do some experimenting and let's see where it leads. I really don't have a whole bunch of a plan. I have a vague idea. So I don't know exactly where it's going to take me, but we'll find out. And before anybody asks, this pan that the canvas is in is the, um, I guess, drip pan that goes under a washing machine. You know, in case something leaks. I got it at the hardware store. It was like, I don't know, 20 bucks or something. So that's it for right now. Don't forget to check out the video description for any relevant links. If you want to see... Um, what I do on a daily basis, you should follow me on social media. And if you've been following me on social media, then you know I've been doing a lot of journal pages with negative space and white, leaving white space. And that's kind of where this is going, FYI. So if you want to know what I'm talking about when I refer to that, you need to follow me on Instagram or Twitter or over on Facebook. And you can find a link in the description called Linktree with my name at the end. If you click on that, you'll find every single place I am on the internet, I promise. My Facebook groups, my Instagram, my Twitter, my Pinterest, my Etsy shop, my website, everything. So check it out. Maybe think about buying something from my Etsy shop. I've got a lot of stuff over there. And above all, go out and have a great day. Do some playing, do some painting, get messy, and have some fun. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it always. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys.